Well, Dave is suitably impressed. Right, it's that time of year to focus our attentions on the garden. First up is a bit of lawn care, and I bought myself a new toy. By all accounts, this budget aerator slash scarifier from Aldi is a pretty good buy, so we're gonna give it a go. Right, that was fairly painless. There's just three components to the handles or three sections at least, and then these like locking cam type uh, levers which lock it in place, and I guess that means you can fold it down or collapse it afterwards. This is a bit that's a bit misleading, and from what I've read online, it's a little bit odd. They call this the, the scarifier, which to me looks more like blades that you would cut to aerate the soil, you know, for, for drainage and get some more um, air down into the soil. So they're calling that the scarifier, but it looks a little bit severe to be just, all I'm doing is moss and dethatching. Let's fire it up. So we've got the top lawn, which is this area up here. Doesn't see much daylight or, or direct sunlight during uh, kind of five, six months of the year. And then it's from now on, it'll get a nice amount of sun. So it gets more moss. Whereas down here, the bottom lawn is fairly self-maintained. Normally, if it wasn't for bird flu, the birds are out here for six, seven months over the winter and the spring. And they do all the dethatching, all the fertilizing, uh, you know, they do a lot of the work for us and they don't cause issues like you might think. I mean, if they get in the flower beds, they can dig stuff around too much. But on the lawn, they do a lot of the work. What needs to happen is a good feed, but also some levelling. So I'm going to get some top dressing and sort out some of our levels. Well, that worked surprisingly well. I didn't batter the lawn too much. I had it on zero, so I don't know what minus three would do, let alone minus eight. I think I might go across the centre part, the other direction, but apart from the odd stone that the kids had left on the lawn, it's definitely loosened up and kind of teased out everything that we didn't want in there. So with the danger and the risk of making our lawn look a little bit terrible for a week or two, I think I'm going to lower the setting and have a go at 90 degrees to that. Probably filled about two wheelbarrows worth of stuff. Now we're at a point where we definitely got rid of a lot of the moss, thinned all the thatch out. It's obviously not as healthy as I thought, um, but it's now at a point where it definitely will take seed really well. Right, having sufficiently butchered the top lawns, kind of thinking we should head down the bottom and give the big one a go. Oh, but it doesn't look bad. So it's a bigger extension lead.
Right, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it properly. So we've, we've done it a first pass. Jay's gone over the whole lawn. We've gone to the lowest setting now and I've even removed the basket and we're just going full on hay production here. And uh, the girls are just raking it up into a big pile and we'll clear it afterwards. And then I'll go over with the mower. And what we're really doing is going right back to pretty much nothing. So uh, second to plowing it, <laughs> it's going to look a little bit messy for a while, but hopefully it will come back all the stronger for it. As you can see, we are sharing our lawn with quite the menagerie at the moment. The good thing is, turns out the bird flu lockdown is over. So the birds are out. Uh, they're gonna help keep loosening all this moss and stuff up. But what I'm gonna do now is finish clearing all these piles and then I'm gonna go over with the mower just to suck up any of that. So we've got just complete, uh, completely rid of all the loose stuff there. That means that when we overseed and feed in the next week or two, then it's got the best chance of uh, taking. So temptation got the better of me and a couple of days later, I figured I would give the other attachment a go. Now, in my opinion, both of these fit the scarifier category. I'm not sure either of them are really a true aerator. They're not cutting into the soil much more than a few millimeters and the power of this machine is not enough to allow you to do that. I would say though that this is a more of a thorough job and you can use this as the scarifier and it really would tear out any of the thatch or the moss that you might have. It makes it a little bit more rough for a few weeks but in all honesty I'd rather get all that stuff out and start fresh. We've got some really good quality A1 uh, seed now here and soil, top dressing, all of that ready to go. So this week is all about the next stage, now it's warming up a bit. You could go over with a hollow time type aerator which takes the plugs out of the soil. That really does help with aeration but I think for now, for this year, this is suitable. We don't have any problems with drainage or anything like that. So all being well, we've got rid of the old. Now it's time to get some new stuff down. Well, Dave is suitably impressed. I think the scarifier has worked out all right. I think it was 60 pounds, somewhere around that. I will put a link down below to the uh, Aldi version and you can pick it up for yourself if you're interested. It doesn't look too battered, this lower lawn. It's certainly not as green as it was when we started but in the long run it's going to be more beneficial to do it. I think we still need to bring in some top dressing just to fill all those low spots but it's probably about time to sink a bit of cash into some decent seed and overseed the whole lot. Anyway love to hear your tips and love to hear how people are getting on with their own lawns. It's that time of year when you can look forward to summer and get things nice and green. If you want to see how this lawn started I'll put a few clips now of what we inherited when we took on this place. But that's it, thank you for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.